Hey, hi, hello, divas. Ah, <sighs> how y'all doing? I'm doing pretty well. Um, I'm recording. It is a Thursday afternoon at around 2 p.m. And my work day, I work from home today. It's wrapped up a little bit early. It, you know, I've been in a pretty good mood lately. And I'm, I'm excited for this week's episode. I mean, particularly this week's episode is very exciting uh, because, I mean, I'm recording it the day before we do it, but I'm very excited that I will be joining the Angel Squad with a V, <laughs> the Angel Squad on Threads. I'll be joining them on their Twitch live stream tomorrow evening. Uh, and tomorrow is Friday, May uh, 24th, and we'll be doing that. Uh, but of course, I mean, it will have already come out. Like by the time you're listening to this, uh, silly me, by the time you're listening to this, it will have been last night and i hope that it went well but we're gonna we're gonna be playing fortnite hanging out like i've been friends on threads with those divas for for quite some time now so i'm really excited to hang out with them uh, and i hope that it went well and i hope that a lot of you tuned in thank you for those of you that did uh, and in fact on this episode we will be chatting with scully one of the angel squad so it it's kind of I kind of rearranged how episodes were going to be set up so that we could have that all happening in one week once we we figured out what the scheduling for that would look like. But all that to say, very excited. This will be a very fun episode. And uh, before we get into my little solo side of things, like before I catch you up on what's going on with me this week, I do want to go ahead and kind of establish some of like the, the pod housekeeping um, I just want to make sure that I get in the habit of doing that. So, you know, things like the buy me a coffee is always there. Should any of you ever feel inclined, that's buymeacoffee.com slash, you know, diva, buymeacoffee.com slash Y-K-N-O-W-D-I-V-A, just like the name of the show. Um, and then also, if you want, it, I would love, it would give me the little pitter patters, uh, and give me a little dash of sparkle if you wanted to follow wherever you listen to this podcast, whether it's on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, wherever, YouTube. If you want to follow and, and or rate five stars, that'd be fab. We, I'm currently at five stars on everything like that has ratings on it that I can see. So Spotify, Apple, we're five stars and all that. And I'm so, so grateful for that. But I figured I should probably just plug that or at least throw that into my little housekeeping deal. I'm, I'm still ironing this out, Divas. It's still season one, but episode seven of season one. Oh my goodness. Um, and I did kind of poll y'all uh, to see like what kind of a, a season length y'all were thinking. And I think I put in the poll like either an eight episode season, a 10 episode season or 12. And it was surprisingly pretty split but the 12 episode season did win just slightly which was what i was planning on doing anyway so that's fabulous i was probably going to do that anyway but i'm glad that that aligns with at least what y'all seem to want so that's thrilling but anyway we're, we're figuring it out uh i do know that season two i want to take like a little break in between season one and two to kind of like i wanted a new cover art and like I'm trying to fiddle with the idea of whether or not I want a video component yet or not uh that might wait till season three but like for life circumstances to line up with that but we'll see there will at the very least I will say that I do want an updated cover photo for season two and probably like take a couple weeks off of uploading while I figure that out in between seasons but we still have a few episodes for that I'm just rambling at this point uh, <laughs> But all that to say, don't forget to buy me a coffee, rate me five stars, follow, share with your friends, all that. I hope that y'all are enjoying, you know the drill, whatever. <laughs> all righty, so I know I trailed off a little bit there, kind of went off the rails, but we're going to get right into it here. In the threads void, not a whole, whole lot has changed. I mean, Bots are still running rampant, all the damn bots. Um, but with that, 
low engagement. I think all of us are experiencing low engagement. I'm seeing lots of people say, like, ask, you know, are they shadow banned? Talking about, you know, what what did I do wrong? I, I really do think it's just like, we, I mean, we have seen algorithm ebbs and flows. I know that I personally have seen it. So I think it's probably just another one of those uh, ebbs. I don't know if we'll see, but some part of me feels like the bots have something to do with the low engagement. I don't know. I can't put my finger on why I think that just something in my brain kind of thinks that that's what's going on. I don't know. There's no way to know for sure, but I'm just out here riding the wave. I'm just like posting out into the void as I usually do. I I'm trying not to pay much attention to it, uh, but it is something that is noticeable. So that's kind of going on. Um, and that, I mean, that's really all I got as far as what's going on in the threads, but cause I'm just kind of like keeping on, keeping on. If there's any drama or anything like that, that's happening. I mean, y'all know me, I don't really stick my nose in things anyway, but there hasn't even been anything in my periphery that I've seen. So if there's stuff going on, I'm unaware of it and that's fine. We'll keep it that way. I'm here for my, my up deep, upbeat vibes. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, shifting right on along to Diva Book Club, I'm still reading Magnolia Parks and I am still I'm I'm loving this book. It's a, it's a good, easy read or listen. In my case, the acting is good. It's fabulous. Uh, I'm having a good time listening to it, but it is one of those ones where like the the leading couple, like it's like a romance, like drama comedy thing. But they're the type of like toxic couple, you know, toxic uh, that I don't want them to be together. They're so toxic. But I mean, I it's one of those things where I'm sure they're probably going to end up together. I mean, maybe I'll be surprised, but they're just so toxic and I don't want them to be together. But I feel like they're going to be it, it's uh, it's one of those. But what I do love specifically is that whenever like the main character Magnolia Parks, like she is so into fashion and she's like, you know, old money and all this. But it, I love the way that the author has written her in that like she describes like the label, what it looks like. She knows she has like a, a working catalog in her head of like all of these designer clothing brands and pieces and all of that and it's just a running encyclopedia in her head and i think that's so it's an interesting note i think it's a, a cute uh detail to have her specifically pointing out designer items in particular but i thought that was cute um and then with that i was kind of thinking like i wonder if i could find on the internet somewhere i I feel like someone had to have done it, but I could be wrong. I, I would love to find like to show at the next book club that I'm a part of. I would love to find a visual representation of like all of the looks that are described, like all of the the outfits. That'd be cool if someone somehow put all that together, but I'll have to do some digging because I think that'd be a really cool thing to show the ladies at my book club. But we'll we'll see what I could find. But that's the only book I'm still focusing on right now. So pivoting right on into what I'm watching right now, y'all, All-Stars 9, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 9 has premiered, and I am definitely watching that. Ethan and I uh, have been knee-deep in that. I mean, we're only two episodes in right now, but we have been watching it. Uh, wonderful, fabulous cast. I love Roxy Andrews. Love, love, love Roxy Andrews. So I've been loving seeing her back. And Plastic Tiara, though, oh my god. Everything that she does is just, it's excellent. It's perfection. Oh my God. Love, love, love seeing what Plastique has done so far. Like her uh, paintball gown for the paintball where she like airbrushed on that female form or not airbrushed. I guess she kind of sketched it on with paintbrush, but still like she, she painted on like that airbrushed female form and then the, the cherry blossoms on the cloak that she had. Oh my God. It was just gorgeous. And then Roxy too, making that three piece, like that floor length, like trench coat with the top and the pants with that like black to white, like inverted ombre. So good. So good. I'm really enjoying it. And I love that it's for charity and I love how into it all the girls seem. So, so far I'm very much enjoying All Stars 9 and that's pretty much what I've been watching besides, uh, as I mentioned last week and maybe even the week before, I've still been in my friend's rewatch. I think I'm in season two now, but I'm I just kind of been trucking on with that. That's kind of a show that I'll throw on while I'm 
scrolling through threads or or whatever but that's pretty much it as far as what's going on with what i'm watching now listening to i am still i have still got radical optimism on repeat it is like my absolute favorite and it particularly the song maria like my favorites will, will kind of switch but right now maria is the one that'll pop into my head the most often and oh my god it is so good i'll just be like walking around my apartment shouting like maria <laughs> oh so silly but been loving that and then i've also been really really into the charlie xcx singles for her upcoming album brat really into it like von dutch 360 like it's the loving them and that they've been thrown in with radical optimism and i actually that brings me to like the brat album cover which i actually kind of love like that kind of like chartreuse like puke green color with just like the word brat on the cover and that's it uh i think it's kind of cool i don't know like i I I can kind of see where she's going with it because looking at it and comparing it to her previous album covers, which all feature her, like her body it, or her face or whatever. Like it's, in, it, I think it's in hearing what she had to say about it, like that it, she's kind of I don't know. It, it's an interesting comment on like why do we need her to be on the cover of the album or like you know what why do we want to see her face on her what? It's it's a very interesting thing all to all boil down to the word brat on a green album cover maybe i'm reading too much into it i just like it but all that to say i'm excited for that album to come out and i've been enjoying the singles thus far uh pivoting into what i'm playing i am so so i know i mentioned last week that i was going to i was getting the itch to start playing coral island and boy divas have i been playing coral island i have it into it i've already breezed through spring so I, i'm in like summer two or three i'm romancing pablo we like the tattooed sweet people pleaser but like a little bit in his own world blacksmith uh i'm romancing him right now uh so i think i am at like six or seven stars with him so like we're moving along there uh, but I really love the diversity of the characters in that, like the artwork is beautiful, the different types of uh, people that are included, just lovely to see. And then the music, the music in this game is gorgeous. Like it, it's so easy to just like kind of turn my brain off and just go into Coral Island. It, it is, it's very easy to immerse myself in it with the music and the visuals and the artwork. It's all so nice. Uh, and they do like the developers also seem to really be doing updates on it, like adding new things into it. So like it, that's promising. I'm glad that they're doing that. And it, especially because like that was one of those ones where, again, I think I mentioned last week where like I had back to that Kickstarter and just only played the alpha and then didn't touch it. So I, I've been pleasantly surprised and I'm glad that I uh, I jumped back into it. But uh, that's that's pretty much where I'm going to stay. I mean, that and I'm going to be jumping back into uh, Fortnite with this new season. Uh, I need to play probably a little bit today after recording, maybe even after recording with the uh, Scully later. Cause I mean, it's going to be the first time I've played in a while. If I like went on the stream, if I don't, but uh, anyway, I really hope that went well, <laughs> but all of that to say it's time for my favorite part of the episode. It's time for the I Wanna Know Diva. And as I've already mentioned a couple times, this week's guest is one of the Angel Squad. And prior to that, I mean, she was already on my list of people to have on before the Angel Squad even formed. But we're gonna talk about video games and like being a woman in gaming and her experience with that. And it, I'm just, I'm really excited. So let's just jump on over, divas. see it okay we're recording okay hey i hello divas i am so excited welcome back to another segment of i want to know diva the portion of the podcast where i have a guest on to just tell me all about their passion their thing their cause whatever it is and today i'm very excited we have one of my favorite friends one of the ogs she's probably playing fortnite with the girlies she is the <laughs> cloud angel it is scully hi diva hi it's oh my me God, how hi are divas you? 
I'm so good. I was so excited, nervous. I woke up early this morning and I was nervy. And then I started listening what? to some of the older podcasts just to get a vibe. And then I fell back asleep, did my makeup. And now we're here. And you look stunning. I know that they can't see you and that's like, that's just for us, but you look stunning. Thank you. So and don't be nervous. Oh, thank you. But don't be nervous. We're just hanging out. You know the vibes. We're just vibing. It's no big thing. But I guess I get but, some nerves too. I'm always nervous. Even before we go live and stuff. I'm just like, oh my God, what am I going to say? But as soon as I hit live, I'm just like, okay, now be up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, we could just get right into it here. What are we, what are we talking about today? I mean, I already know what we're talking about today, but I'll let you do the honors of telling the divas. What are we chatting about today? Today we're chatting about existing online, playing like online multiplayer games as a woman, as a queer woman, as a queer person, just, you know, existing as something other than the norm of what people think of when they think of like video games, like online shooters and stuff like that. So. Yeah, which I'm sure what most people would think of is your typical <laughs> dude bro, your your cis like straight dude screaming into his headset. Yeah. Is probably who most people or like when you th when you say gamer, I'm sure that's kind of like that that's the stereotype that would come to mind, I feel like to a lot of people. Yeah, there's so many different types of gamers though, and there's so many different types mm -hmm. of games. And I think at first I was really nervous to get into it because I was like it doesn't seem like it's for me and a lot of these people don't seem like they want me here but Ugh. I think after just pushing through initially and just being like no I deserve to be here too I deserve to take up space uh if I want to in this space right. uh and then just meeting people who are like-minded just it changed everything and I think that is the part that made me fall in love with like gaming and the community is just when you meet the right people it feels right i love that now when did you when did you find the right people so wh when were you when did you know of it and i guess it's like a, a it'll be a, a layered question like when were you first getting into gaming when did you first dis discover that like oh this is a fun thing for me and then when did you meet your people when did you meet the, the ones that you could vibe with and play with and all that well, when I was a kid, I would play just like solo games like Animal Crossing on my DS and stuff like that. And like I played the Wii. I loved it. But <laughs> like during the start of the pandemic or like a little bit before, I had lost my IRL friend group and I was just really lonely. And I was like, man, what do people do when they don't have friends? <laughs> and oh, it turns right. out they play games. And then that's how you meet new friends. So I did that. And then like I... I met a guy online and we were dating and we played a lot of online games just because that's the only thing you could really do a lot of the time. So we were yeah. gaming a lot and then I was super lonely because um, I just didn't have that many friends and I was talking to him about it and saying like, I love gaming with you and we have so much fun, but I really wish I could just game with someone who was like a girl or who got it or who understood yeah. like how it felt to be kind of bad at the game because you're just starting out. And so he was like, you should go on like Facebook or something and join a group. And I was like, mm, I don't know. That doesn't sound like it's for me. But after a while of being lonely, I was like, oh, maybe I should. So I did one day and I was just looking through the post of a page called Ladies of Apex Legends. And oh, I found a post of somebody talking about how they were just looking for people to game with. It was the start of the pandemic and they were just like, who knows how long we're going to be inside, guys. Right. And I was like, you're so right. So I commented and I was like, I just started playing. Like, if you'd like to play sometime, like hit me up. And we added each other on PlayStation and we started playing Apex together pretty much every day. Um, and like ever since then, I've pretty much been gaming every day. I, yeah, I love that. I mean, I... I have a similar like I mean I've been playing games off and on my whole life but similarly I met my current best friend on a reddit a queer gamers reddit Aww. thing and similar thing it was during the pandemic and I was like I need to find and like for me it was specifically I was like I want to play with queer people like I want like it's just there's something about like of course like I'll still play with any I'll play with anybody but like yeah. there is there's something about like t like hanging out and unwinding with your people, people that like to what you kind of what you said earlier, like just get it. 
It's just that yeah. just inherently get it. And no so masking, it, no hiding your interests, no feeling like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that because no one would care. Right. Or like, I mean, yeah, what, what, like you don't have to, like, I guess, like, yeah, pick your words in any sort of way. But so I, I completely get you there. And that's part of me. I'm so excited. I mean, it's pivots. I'm pivoting slightly, but I'm getting ahead of myself, maybe. But I'm so excited to hang out with y'all and get to like the Angel Squad portion of things because that's like, a recent relatively recent development and i don't want to like get too ahead of myself so if there's something that i'm skipping over that you wanted to talk about you let me know but like that's just what i'm most excited to get into and like the formation of that and the history of that and all that stuff yeah so um i don't know i pretty much just started playing apex every day and that's a really hard game to get into it was super hard and i felt really inadequate because everybody around me had had so much practice like a lifetime of shooting games and like playing cod and stuff like that and I played a little bit of zombies and stuff at friends houses but I didn't really have my own consoles a lot of the time so mm. it started when I got like my ps4 and that was like okay. my initial journey into it and I played a lot of Apex and then I got into Overwatch and similarly they have communities where it's just mostly men and it's just not like yeah. There's a big queer Overwatch community, and there's so much representation in that game. Um, and Apex 2 now is getting there. But I think the communities are still largely men, so it's just not as... Not as... Mm, it doesn't feel as safe. Because, <laughs> like, sure. I'm not going to go yap under Blizzard's thing. <laughs> and be like, oh my no. god, yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's like, are you when you, and are you referring to like if you're just like if you were to get into like a random like pickup group or like a random uh, lobby and like oh, I used like, to play like on the... open mic in Apex. <gasps> I would Scully, get into the no. lobby quick play or not quick play. Um, what is it? Just like um casual pub pub not skips open mic. open mic, and I'm like hi on the mic, and they're like girl, <laughs> girl, <laughs> and I'm just like. <laughs> Well, yes, and <laughs> yes, here I am. I Hello, think, hi. I think at first I was really, really scared, and then after a while of it going okay, I got too comfortable, and I was just like, "Hi, everybody!" Like every time, and then some people are just really mean, and then after a while of that, I was like, "Oh yeah, I've I think I've met like every gamer in like a public lobby, and like I've had <laughs> every experience." Oh, wow. And I'm sure that the experiences run the gamut. Like what are yeah. there some like are there any that stand out? Like, I mean, unfortunately, I'm sure there's not a lot of great ones, but are, is there like a, a a best and a worst experience and like an open mic that maybe think, comes to mind? Oh, my God. There's been so many times where me and that friend that I met through that uh, Ladies of Apex Legends Facebook group, they're now like they're trans and they like I think of my like they them or he him um okay. my friend Milo but me and Milo used to talk open mic all the time on Apex and we just yap and yap and yap and sometimes we'd be yapping for like 10-15 minutes in a game and then all of a sudden a guy would flip his mic down and be like oh my god I've been listening this whole time <laughs> <laughs> are y'all done yet <laughs> a lot of the times it was like I'm just so entertained and I I haven't even said anything because I just wanted to keep listening and I didn't want you yes. guys to stop. Y'all are then, just doing your own podcast. Yeah. And then after a while, they're just like, but I had to say something because I felt kind of creepy listening. And oh, yeah. that was our favorite because we would just start like screaming like, oh, my God, you're listening. We'd be like, well, what do you think of this? Like, yeah. so <laughs> do you agree? Well, you made yourself known. Now you have to be a part of this. <laughs> yeah. I think that's my favorite part is just connecting with people. And there's a lot of unexpected connection with people that you'd never think would and like fuck with your energy and then they yeah. actually end up being cool and you're like oh okay this thing actually does bring us together i love that i mean i'm I'm just glad that there are at least you have some readily positive experiences to pull from i mean i might be a little bit jaded but like i i have i haven't been in a live like an open mic thing in quite a while because like i mean I have, let's face it, I've got gay voice, quote unquote. So any lobby that I've ever been in, it's immediate F slurs. And oh like my God. That, yeah. So I learned very quickly that that wasn't my space. And he like picked like open lobby mic thing. So like I, most of the time I just gave 
in smaller groups. Oops, <laughs> in smaller groups. But I uh, know people get mad when you don't want to open mic in games, and it's like, well, a lot of the time it's not safe to open yeah. mic, and like. It's just sometimes you'll even be gaming with people and you think they're okay, and then they're randomly just throwing out slurs, and you're like, "Oh, it's like that." Mm, <laughs> like, is that how oh. they're gonna do it? Yeah. yeah. And then we'll. And I did. I think there was one, and I didn't. I, my friend of mine said it this way, and I was. We were playing in Fortnite during the pandemic, and he, like I didn't even realize he had, like set the setting, and we were in open mic and some random like full group thing, and I that i can't do because there are so many kids so scary like it 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 was like the second that it it switched on it was just like overrun by all of these like high-pitched children like uh, apparently children's voice like obviously those are funny and i'm just like ah but like some of the things they're saying were funny and not but i that just made me feel weird as an adult i'm like i'm pushing 30 i don't need to be hearing what the thoughts of any of these like children like i don't need to be like i felt like i was in a space that i shouldn't be <laughs> being like it's an so open mic weird. on Fortnite. Uh, i had that but, uh, a lot when i started streaming a couple of years ago it was like a lot of kids would come in and i wouldn't know they were kids at first and they'd be talking in the chat for a while and then like they'd say something and i'd be like how old are you <laughs> And then they would be like, oh, I'm like 13. I'm like, whoa, that's really <laughs> young. Um, now I'm thinking about everything I've ever said. Yeah. I'm like, would I say that in front of a 13-year-old? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, but that's a whole other can of worms. But yeah, that, I can't do the, the open mics with that. But I'm glad that you had some decent experiences with it as well. Yeah. Uh, Usually just mute or like uh, troll if they start getting mad. It's, uh, you, oh, you you troll them. Troll them back. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, what's what's wrong? <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I don't maybe I I don't have the uh, like I get, I think I get uh, mad too fast with that kind of thing. <laughs> so I don't know if I'd be able to like I don't know if my brain would think to troll them back. Like uh, like oh let's make them more matter and be like oh no and that's so rude of you to say how dare you? The youngest child syndrome weird. where I'm just like no you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you got your youngest child syndrome. Uh, I'm well. I'm the middle child syndrome, so I don't. I mean, I'm a being I mean, a fly on the wall. The reactions. Like, <laughs> You're like, just like, like I'm gonna head out, and I'm like, I'm gonna make you more mad than you even were before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he, well, I, that offended me. I'm gonna dip. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, but that's neither here nor there. But anyway, where were I? Know that kind of like a little bit of a tangent, but we were talking about. Uh, apex and like how you like getting to forming oh, yeah. angel squad and and all that yeah. so overwatch was getting really sweaty for me so i was like uh getting really frustrated with that and then some people from Deads were like you should start playing fortnite with us and i was like oh, i'm scared like i've tried fortnite before and it just wasn't very fun because i was really bad at it and then i also had people like rage out on me before at fortnite and i was like this is insane this is a children's game <laughs> so yeah. i was really adults scared. get take it seriously yeah like, that's crazy to me because i didn't really grow up gaming that much so the gamer rage i just never understood and maybe it's because i didn't really start playing like super frustrating games until i had the ability to self-soothe and not freak out <laughs> but i was just like whoa like why are you guys punching your desks oh my god I, I grew up with it my older brother like i mean i don't even know if he listens but i hopefully he won't be too bad <laughs> if i air out a little bit of this but like he was that like growing up he that was that me. anger that angry gamer like throwing like he would break controllers oh and god. anger on things like he was the gamer not rage, seem fun like, to me screaming. It yeah, made me be I, like, why do you guys do this? Like, why are you, you are breaking things? This does not seem like a good time. Yeah. It's like, why are you doing this to yourself? But then, like, on the flip side of that, when they were doing well and winning, it was like, like rejoice and cheering and like the happiest you'd ever seen them. So it was very hot and cold with that kind of thing. But, but yeah, so you're into Fortnite. It's the, yeah. the threads people got you into Fortnite. <laughs> Yeah, I would say mostly Threads people got me into Fortnite. So it's been a new development. And then I was really bad at Fortnite. And I was like, man, I need some other people to make me feel less bad at Fortnite. Just kidding. <laughs> I just was <laughs> like, who wants to play Fortnite with a girl who sucks? And then a bunch of girls were like, me, actually. And then some other people, like 
of all genders, really. I've played with a ton of people from Threads, which is crazy. Um, yeah. And cool. And I feel... I played, like, one... And, like, there was one or two that I joined. Y'all, I can't remember. That was, like... A full lobby. Forever ago now. It was a full... Lo- yeah, full... <laughs> full lobby at, like, 4 a.m. my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about that gamer life. And it's funny, because it's so late. <laughs> now I'm, like, a little creature gaming yeah, at 4 a.m. <laughs> and, like, I'm waking up, making my cup of coffee at 4 a.m. while y'all are, like, ending your night yeah we are always like passing each other and being like okay good night good morning (laughs) guess you know it's nice to at least see like there that that little window like someone for you to talk to in the wee hours of the morning (laughs) i really appreciate it though because i'm like oh my god no one's awake but presto's awake presto's awake always at 3 (laughs) (laughs) a.m literally and that shook me because in my time zone like two hours behind you so i'm like it's like three in the morning for me and you're waking up (laughs) (laughs) it's crazy oh my goodness but hey that's that's i've always been that way um but so the and then but like i feel like angel squad formed pretty like it feel i mean at least how it I perceived it like as an outsider of it. It seemed like it kind of all happened really quickly. Like the, it or it all, like at least how I saw it happening was that like it was y'all were kind of starting to like throw the, the, the nicknames at each other. And then like all of a sudden it was like, oh, there's a logo and there's a page and oh, they're, oh, they're doing this. <laughs> it's crazy because like, oh my God, half of us are so girl boss. Ainsley has a real job. So she works uh, most of the day and she's like streaming with us at night and stuff so she's so tired and then like cloud is like the girl boss who's like making our logos and stuff and like editing the videos for us and then grace is like doing our socials and she's also helping with like visual stuff and like video editing and i help with like a little bit of like the info of like how things work because i had a twitch channel before this and like i've been streaming for a few years and then just like games and stuff like that and then i've also been helping with like aesthetic stuff and we all just like do our own little part and it's cute i love it i i gotta say i i was showing ethan even like i showed him like the little um like the little promo stuff that you made that like that i got to share out and stuff that had me on it and the first thing he said he was like oh this is so you he's like this is up your alley and i was like "Uh uh-huh i'm like that's why i love you we're obsessed like i'm so here for it i like like the the powerpuff girls inspired fonts and like the pink and this the girly uh the girly gaming of it all is like i'm so here for it yes cloud has been on that like graphic design shit since she was a kid she's so good at it like she works so hard and she is like a powerhouse she just she does the thing she's crazy well like done. you said the logo was so fast like that was her she's and it's so well good. done too like i mean i i work in very close proximity like in my day job to like marketing like a lot of what i do dips in marketing things so like it i was very impressed with like the the swiftness and the quality of it like this is like these these ladies they know what they're doing at least that's how i was uh seeing it i was like this is this is gonna be good i'm excited about this it's easier when there's like four people to spread the work within because like it's way easier that way i couldn't like i mean i tried to do my own twitch channel and it was so hard it never took off the way that this is taking off and like i had support and i'll never say that i didn't and like i had people watching me and like in my chat and like subscribing to me then too and i appreciate them but like this is like on another level where i'm like i've never experienced this amount of support for in my life I love that. I'm so glad that y'all are getting the support and like the, so the collabs happy. lined up, like myself included, you know, but like the list yeah. of the collabs is already so long. This is, it's, we it's are fun. Booked. Are, like, I love it. Booked, booked, booked. It's. I've never been this busy. It's kind of crazy. F- fun though, right? Fun busy? Yes. Fun busy where I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I actually have something to do every day. 
<laughs> yes. I mean, and yours really is like y'all are well, um, well, I'm sure there's something to do every day, but like y'all are streaming how often? Like it's it's multiple times a week, right? We do like, three times a week is our set schedule. Tuesdays, Fridays, Sundays. And then on our off days, we usually end up streaming anyways, just because we really I'm like saying. it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say y'all are always ended up like it, We're like, always you, live. You, you're like, you will surely be there three times a week, but like yeah. most likely it'll be like at least a little bit of something usually every day yeah (laughs) which is such a vibe and i and i i've been able to only tune into a a couple of them but i do have the notifications on and i love so i get the little ping on my phone to calling all angels or whatever it is that it says it's it's cute i love it it makes me so happy i think that like surrounding yourself with like pretty visuals and like nice words and people who are so understanding and supportive and just kind like it will literally change your whole entire life and that's how I feel like I feel so grateful for them because they just like I don't know they changed everything I love it's that so, and like so happy <laughs> I I know I'm so I'm I'm happy for y'all I, I and I what I really like about the like the existence even of something like that like what y'all are doing specifically is like to kind of tie it into to what we're even chatting about here is like it's nice to see especially something doing well but like a a a quote like a girly themed gaming like channel stream like conglomerate like (laughs) doing well like i think that that is it's very like and that goes to show that like hey you know this type of aesthetic in gaming this type of like vibe people want this and this yeah is like, there's a market for it the, the girls this, love and, it and yeah. it's such a inviting place I feel like because it's cutesy it's something we all grew up with like we're really leaning on the y2k aesthetic and like childhood I, I mean, nostalgia I, vibes of just like we're trying to be who we've always wanted to be where we're like we remember the brads and we're like oh they're so confident and so pretty and like fashionable and they're just like everything they always wanted to be but like we didn't have the resources then but now we kind of are getting there and we're just like oh my god like let's bring it back let's bring back j14 let's bring back like literally just all the good parts of your childhood that you miss like let's bring it back I love that and like I think that like it you mean I mean I I'm not a girl I'm a gay and the, the girls and the gays and the days they all they eat I mean I'm sure they eat this shit up I mean I eat it up because it's like to what we you're do saying it for the like, girls I, and the gays. we do it for the girls and the gays and like the, <laughs> the brats and like the whole y2k like doing it now that what you couldn't do then like I'm that's part, another part of the reason why I'm so drawn to it and love that like love all the the way that y'all are doing this is because like I love that shit. I love the Y two K. I love the, the like the the chrome and like the bubbly and the pink and the sparkle. Like, uh, y'all are doing. I mean, it almost feels like you're doing this specifically for me. It all that, that's what it all. <laughs> that's how we wanted like. to be. We wanted to be like this is for the people who wanted to be in that space and who wanted that you know lifestyle or whatever that aesthetic so bad, but maybe it wasn't accepted then or whatever like if you're barely coming out or if you're barely coming into like your feminine side or if you're you know leaning into that even if you are straight like you don't have to be queer or anything to lean into your feminine side like absolutely we have a lot of guys who watch us and that's crazy we didn't expect that we thought it was all going to be like girls and gays but there's a lot of guys who watch us and like interact with us that are really awesome and that's been like a great surprise they're just like you guys are just cute and we love it and i'm like oh you guys like I cute shit that. too okay go figure. you can sit with us <laughs> say wow stereotypes being knocked over left and yeah. right <laughs> we love to that see is the it goal from the beginning is just to make like an inclusive experience and an inclusive space we're working on a discord but that's a lot of work um yeah. and like we want to make that cool um And, like, we're working on, like, a little bit of Pride stuff. And, like, we're making, like, a Angel's Pride playlist. And we're just trying to, you know, I don't know, make people feel included. And, like, we're all queer in some way. So it's just, like, we want to, you know, 
show our appreciation and just be like, everyone is welcome here. Yeah, I love that. Well, I mean, you've got my contact. If you need anybody to to help with pricing, exactly, I, I was will be saying, around. I was like, we need to actually consult Presto for this because he would be perfect. I mean, I would love to help with pride things. I need to do like that makes me, you know, it reminds me I need to like I need to do something pride thing for this show. Uh, I haven't even thought about any, doing any sort of pride special for this, but I I should like I think it's gonna I think it's gonna kind of I think that my first season will end in Pride Month, if not in Pride Month, then in like July. But I mean, I gotta do something fun for that. But anyway, I love it. I love it so much. I know that you'll do something uh, great. I love well, it. I love your podcast. I've been I was listening to it this morning when I couldn't sleep and I was just like oh, prepping and like getting a vibe and I was like, oh, this is so chill. I love it. And like I was nervous, but listening to it made me to feel more at ease because I was like, I have nothing to be afraid of. No, no. And there is there's there's like virtually no structure. Like I have a general like run of show, but yeah, it's and I, I don't do anything it. too crazy around here. But I love hearing just, I, just everybody from Threads talk about their little thing. And it was cute because I got to know people and I was just like, yeah. oh, I like you even more. <laughs> yeah, And like in a more in-depth way, that's not just, you know, the character limit of a thread, even though yeah, they are wildly it's so much long. more personal and like uh, when you relate and you're just like, oh, wow, you are. Yeah, you are a little baby angel. Cody, <laughs> adorable. I love his oh. agate episode. <laughs> <laughs> I, so cute. Oh uh, my goodness, I adore him. I think he is so fun. And he and he was another one that was nervous to come huh. on. I was like, why are you nervous? You have a cool thing. <laughs> like, but uh it it's it has been fun to and like I think that uh the I've been similarly to you, like uh, I think that the threads pool, like where a lot of our both of our audiences are probably from the threads pool. I know like pretty yeah. much all of mine is, but it's there at uh, the reception there from non even for my show for non queer people like particularly like i the the people that i would not expect are men like like cis straight men that like are listening to the show too even and like and i'm sure they came from there but like and that's wild to me like that's something i wouldn't have ever expected yeah. and like i can see the analytics of that and i can see that like my my audience is pretty much split down the middle which is pretty neat to see that like it's pretty but i think it's like 48 percent like women and uh women identifying and like the rest of it is the is the men identifying so it's like still i think it leans a little bit more towards women but still way more i thought it was going to be dominated by by the ladies but i'm pleasantly surprised at uh the the caliber of people that seem to have come to threads and it's nice. It is nice. It's crazy. I didn't expect that either from like people coming to our Twitch channel. I expected it mostly to be girls, but it's a good mix of both and it's it's awesome. I don't know. Threads is a cool place. There's like so many cool people on there. There's people that make it less cool, but <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Just, I mean that's the good that's social media the for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. That place is crazy. Whenever yeah. everyone's joking about like, oh yeah, Threads is like the psych ward. And it's like, yeah, kind of. But also when you get all the crazy people in one place, it just kind of get kind of wild. A yeah. little. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think a lot of that too is like what what your uh, algorithm looks like. Because I mean, there's all, they're always talking about drama that I don't ever see. Like, Me I'll, either. I, I see like people talking about the drama. And I'm like, oh, well, I mean, I guess I did a decent enough job at curating my feed that I don't see the the high school level drama that is happening i know i'm like, like i don't know what they're talking about but i'm out of the great. loop but like by design i yeah, don't want to see that if so. i see something that makes me feel not good or that makes me feel icky or that sits with me for a while like i don't mind unfollowing or blocking and just like getting that out of my space and i don't think that's a bad thing no no we i mean i just turned 29 i'm too old for this too yeah. old to be getting into fights on the internet about anything. Not that yeah. I would even want to in the first place, but definitely too old for it. But that's neither here nor there. But uh I love living in maybe. my little girly pop bubble. 
<laughs> uh, and I am so thrilled that you let me peek in every now and again. Oh my god! <laughs> live in the, the girly pop bubble. <laughs> I say that as if I don't like have a timeshare in the girly pop bubble. Exactly. <laughs> you are there. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? I think that like we're, unless you have any final itching thoughts that you wanted to share, I think we're kind of coming to a natural close of things. And also I want to go play Fortnite. Oh my God. <laughs> that that's that so real. Fun. That's me all the time. I'm like, I want to play Fortnite. We'll be girl bossing, working on Angel Squad stuff. We're working on like logos, like videos. And then we're like, does anyone want to play Fortnite? <laughs> We're just like, let's um, kind of crawl back into the gremlin cave where we originated and just, you know, get back into it. Just get but, back into it. Yeah, but, I don't know. But I mean, I know you, you, uh, you, we, through our conversation, you talked about like the, the streaming schedule, but out, uh, you want to give another rundown? Like, this is, this is the plug yourself portion. Where can the divas Ooh. find you? Where, what, what social media is? What, you know, the, the mostly streams. on threads. Um, I don't really post that much on Instagram, but I sometimes put some funny reels on my story. <laughs> you want to check those? Ooh, just a little silly, goofy reel. <laughs> just a little silly, goofy guy. Um, I don't know. That's mostly my, that's my goal in life is to just be silly and goofy and find other people who want to be silly and goofy with me and who hopefully enjoy the little girly pop aesthetic we have going on. It's all I've ever I wanted did. was to just find other people who were like me and who wanted to talk about the same things I wanted to talk about and just wanted to yap about pop music or like yes. beauty, like stuff. Like we love talking about makeup. Like we're doing, oh, we're doing Angel Squad magazine pretty much month, I think is the goal. We're working on our second one right now. It's so cute. It's going to have like a little angel squad quiz. Which angel are you? Um, oh our God, favorite how beauty very, products. Like, tiger beat of you. Yes. We're bringing <laughs> it back because we love it. And like that's like the creative part where we're like this is where we can shine. Because we're like cloud and grace and stuff. Like they're so good at graphic design and like editing and stuff like that where they make stuff. And I'm like, how do you do this? Like, I don't so understand. Cool. It doesn't like, and I can watch them do it in real time. Like we'll screen share and we'll all give our little inputs and stuff. And it's like, I'm, I'm mesmerized. Like, how are you doing this? It's amazing. Um, I love that. Yeah. Wow. Well, we are maybe working I'll on pick so their things. brain. I'll pick their yes. brain when we're out because I mean I want a logo redesign for for the show for season two. You totally and, could ask Cloud; she would love that. And I think that uh, collaborating with her and hire, like uh, commissioning something from her would, I think that she would get it. I think that she would. She get totally gets it. She's so good at getting in people's <laughs> brains and just like giving you exactly what you wanted. But uh, that's not a hero door there. But anyway, so yeah, you're on, you're on threads mostly on yeah. Instagram some of the time. And you're uh, what on is the, that handle again? And uh, oh. your handle for that is? Uh, Scully Snack on threads and Instagram. And then on Twitch, Slay. we're Angel Squad. Oh, and threads too. Angel Squad and TikTok. We're like all over the place. We're trying to um, take over the world. <laughs> I, and we're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. And it's Angel Squad with a V. Yeah, because. Angel Squad with a V instead like, of an A. Instead of an A, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, Scully. Well, thank you so much again for joining me. Thank you for having this, me. Oh my God, of course. And it's I have been looking forward to this one for quite some time just because we, we have such we have some such fun little chats in the threads void. So I can yap with so you fun. forever. <laughs> oh, I we should, Diva. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to end the recording. <laughs> We're going to keep yapping, Divas, but you know the drill anyway. Say bye, Scully. Bye, Divas. Thank <laughs> you for listening bye. to me yap. <laughs> Oh my god that was so much fun i'm i'm so glad that scully was able to join me and i'm glad that they invited me on to their uh stream with the angel squad it was uh so good thank you all again for taking the time to hang out with us and me listen just let me keep you company i really appreciate it and thank you all for your support if you choose to to donate anything to the buy me a coffee if you choose to rate five stars if you choose to follow all of that thank you so so much divas i really have been enjoying having a creative outlet again and it having it be seen in in, in the response and just it, it it's been wonderful and thank y'all i'll i'll see y'all next week divas you know the drill i'll see y'all next week mm -hmm.